Lions and Giants Week 8 preview. Time to go over this game. A big pivotal season defining game this Sunday. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at it. So of course, entering this game, the Giants enter 1-2 and two on the road. Lions are 1-2 and two at home. So in this game for the Lions, right now the line, aka the point spread, has the Lions favored in this game by 7 points. Detroit leads the all-time head-to-head series 23-21-1. Yes, there was a goddamn tie. And Detroit has won two of the last three matchups. Last time Lions and Giants met was in 2017 in New York. I mean, actually, East Rutherford, New Jersey, where MetLife is. And that was a Monday night game where the Lions beat the Giants 24-10. But, of course, last time the Lions and Giants played in Detroit was in 2014, also in a Monday night game, where the Lions beat the Hammer, the Giants 35-14. to Granted, that was 2014. Both teams are a lot different since. So we're going to have some key players on the Giants offensively. The, uh, the main quarterback for the Giants now is Daniel Jones. As the Giants have finally benched Eli for what looks for it for good. Giants benched Eli almost two or three years too fucking late. Honestly, Giants, that ben benching Eli should have happened a long time ago. But hey, at least you're trying to unfuck a situation you originally fucked up now. Honestly, Giants, I wish you would have unfucked that playoff loss to the Packers a few years ago. But you know what? I'm going to let that shit slide. So, continuing on, of course, the Giants' main piece on the offense is the running back, the generational talent known as Saquon Barkley. Of course, Saquon is the main reason the Giants' offensive success now, with Odell Beckham now gone. So is it going to be Saquon carrying Daniel Jones to relevance, or how is this going to work now? Let's just continue on. Continuing on, um, they're receiving targets. They got tight ends like Reed Ellison and Evan Ingram. Even though Evan Ingram has once again is starting to struggle and look like crap, he is still the best receiver the Giants have on the team this year. Because he got Sterling Shepard, and he is questionable for this game with a concussion. And then you got Golden Tate, the former Lion. You know, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, I think I mentioned a couple times this year, but yeah, this game is the Golden Tate homecoming. It's Golden Tate's first game in Detroit ever since he got traded last season. So yeah, this is going to be a good game. I imagine there's going to be a video tribute package to Golden Tate at some point, probably during the TV timeout. Um, the Giants' main pieces on defense, they got names like B.J. Hill. They also got names like Dexter Lawrence, their first-round pick word they got. They got from the Cleveland Browns in the Odell Beckham trade. And Dexter is supposed to be in the next Snacks Harrison. They also got Delvin Tomlinson. They got Lorenzo Carter, who is questionable with an ankle injury. You also got Marcus Golden, BJ Goodson, and Alec Ogletree. The secondary has names like Sam B Beal, who is on the IR with a hamstring. They also got Antoine Bethia. They got Janoris Jenkins and Jabril Peppers. Jabril also came over to the Giants in the Odell Beckham trade. So yeah, of course the head coach is Pat Schumer, and a lot of Giants fans have been vocal with Schumer. I think there was Bad Dog's video a couple days ago where Bad Dog wants some um, Pat Schumer fired and saying he will ruin Daniel Jones' career. Honestly, I think Daniel Jones' career is already starting to get ruined at this point. Because you look at Daniel Jones this year, he sort of played like a rookie. He had a couple good flashes of success at the start. Where he single-handedly carried the Giants to a win over the Buccaneers. And then had a dominant win over the Redskins. And then really went back to being a rookie after that. So yeah, Daniel Jones has a lot of developing to do. On, you got offensive coordinator Mike Shua and defensive coordinator James Betcher. But you look at the Giants this year, it hasn't looked like a solid team. Like, Giants' are offense is ranked 24th. They're 23rd passing the ball. Part of that could be because of how how bad Eli Manning played in the first two games of the year. 
until Daniel Jones Mania came in. And God help us with those Danny Dimes shirts. Um, the Giants' run game this year is ranked 17th. Part of that is because Saquon Barkley missed some time with injury. I imagine it's going to be back to top 10 with, if Saquon gets back to form. The Giants' defense has been complete trash. Ranked 28th. 23rd passing the ball. 23rd against the pass. 26th against the run. So the big keys for the Lions to win this game, the balanced offense, of course. Run the ball, target that run defense. Just run, target the defense, then target the secondary. Just balanced offense. Keep the deep, keep the offense on the field for as long as humanly possible. Be aggressive. Like I said last week, be aggressive. Go for touchdowns and not field goals. Run up the score. Try and get the refs at. Try and keep the refs out of this game as much as you can. And of course, defensively, you know, we got to get pressure to the quarterback. We got to get a pass rush. The last couple weeks, we have not gotten a pass rush, especially last week. So yeah, we got to see so yeah, defensively, got to get pressure to Daniel Jones, put him on his ass, make him fold. Got to find a way to stop to stuff Saquon Barkley. And last but not least, the defense has got to find a way to generate turnovers. Like fumbles, interceptions, whatever it takes to get a turnover, do it. Like, I think those three things need to happen this week, especially after how bad the defense played last week against the Vikings. The defense need a strong showing this week. But, yeah. So, yeah, the Lions, um, if everything goes well, they should be able to win this game easily. But I wouldn't underestimate Daniel Jones. or but Because, you know, you know, there's always that chance the Lions can find a way to lose a game they should win easily. So, yeah. But yeah, I think the Lions should win this game. Want to score? Uh, I'm gonna say Lions. Uh, I'm not actually gonna give a score. I'm gonna say Lions by seven for sure. Like, I think Lions should win this game, no problem. But there's always that odd chance, you know. But the defense just gotta do what they gotta do this week. Like defense needs a strong showing after last week. Offense just needs to keep hitting on all four cylinders. But yeah, and yes, I am going to be at the game this Sunday. So yes, there will be no review. They will be replaced with yet another vlog. See how you got that to look forward to. So yeah. So yeah, of course, if you see me at, see me at the game, make sure, to not, make sure to stop by and say hi if you see me. But yeah, that's all I got to say, folks. I think I covered everything about the Giants. But yeah, let's go get this win. This is a big game, a must-win game. Pretty much the season rests on this game. I say Lions get this one. Let's go get it. That's all I got to say. Hope everyone has a great day, and yeah, peace out.